Henry, who's in our Child Abuse Investigation Unit, yeah. and Samantha Rex, who's been in all of our units, but mm -hmm. now currently in our placement unit. Um, they are the best of the best. Um, they're all great staff here. And I just wanted to recognize them and then let them accept the proclamation from mm -hmm. the commission, if that would be okay. Well, one other thing, why don't you uh, tell them a little bit about the amount of caseloads you have coming in, <laughs> uh, intakes, et cetera. Uh, so uh, last year we had 1,700 reports coming in on child abuse and neglect, some of them very serious. Um, luckily we had no, no fatalities, one fatality this year. Um, it, it, it's a combination of a lot of things from COVID, as was said in the proclamation, where um, mental health is truly a, a, an issue that is constantly brought up. It's something that everyone, it touches everyone from, from parents to children, and we certainly try to focus our efforts on making sure that families have what they need. Um, our budget, we increased by $2 million. Part of that is the prevention services, so the Family First Prevention Act was put into place and we're putting a lot of money into prevention. Getting services in the home before there's an issue, before there's an accident, before there's abuse, before the, the parents are um, not able to control the situation. And then the other part, the building, um, is also you know something that we needed. We needed, we needed to expand our space, um, have the ability to have more families coming in to visit their children. And um, we also increased our placement numbers quite a bit since um, I became administrator three years ago, about 79% um, went up because we were making sure that children were safe and removing those children who were not, um, placing them into foster care. We uh, enhanced our foster care and we have 45% uh, of our children are in relative care. Um, we've been keeping up with the other counties um, and we're in the top 15% as far as keeping kids with family. Um, our adoptions have also gone up when I started, there was one adoption pending. Now we have 10 adoptions pending, so those children are finding their forever homes. And all this work is done from the minute that we get a report coming in the door to the minute we sign that adoption paperwork. And, and these, my staff, these caseworkers are the ones that do all that work. Um, so I wanna thank them today. One of the quotes I found that I really liked was a casework is the art of listening and the science of hope. And I know that these staff certainly have that. Thank you.